Hi, I'm very excited to show you the newest release from Accessity. Um, it's called Project Iris. I have not, not yet come up with a better name for it, but as you might have guessed by the name, uh, it is about eye tracking. So Iris uses um, the Toby IX um, kit for eye tracking. It is looks like this, and you can currently uh, buy it from Toby itself. Um, the devel developer edition is 99 euros or 140 dollars in the US. So what is Iris? Um, we can see the main window of Iris here. Um, let's hide this for a moment. So we have some basic functions. Um, we can uh, use Iris to control the position of the mouse cursor on the screen. We can hide the mouse cursor and we can trigger a click by focusing on an item on the screen. And we have some additional neat features uh, for gaming that I will explain uh, afterwards. So let's get uh, into the basic features. So let me show you um, what the start gaze point does. So when I now look at uh, different items on the screen, I can basically control um, the mouse cursor position on the screen. So let me show you this uh, with the example of the keyboard, of the on-screen keyboard. So I can cycle through these items um, by looking at the keys. And of course um, we now have the problem um, of clicking these um, buttons. We can do that either by turning on the click um, here and let me focus that window for a moment. So this is how you could write um, using Iris. And if you are distracted um, by the mouse cursor, you can also um, hide the mouse cursor. And now when I show you this, oh, let's activate the right window again. So as you can see, um, you have the option um, to hide the mouse cursor uh, so that you not get um, distracted by it. So this is these are the basic uh, functions of Iris. Let me hide this and now when we go to the settings, um, here we can see that there are uh, there is one additional feature that is not seen uh, in the main window. It is called move mouse cursor to gaze point. So this even works um, when all these options are off and when I hit this key that is assigned here, uh, the mouse cursor will instantly blink to the location of where I'm looking at. So I'm now pressing the F7 key. You cannot see that, but um, I focus on different items on the screen. And whenever I hit my F7 key, the mouse cursor will update and jump to the position um, where I'm looking at. This is uh, especially neat in combination with the kinetic mouse. So in the kinetic mouse, you could set up an expression uh, to trigger this F7 key. And whenever, for example, I perform the lips packing motion, uh, I could have my mouse cursor jump to any position on the screen. Uh, and this speeds up the mouse clicking process a lot. So make sure um, to check out the second video where I will talk especially about the combination of Iris and um, the Kinesic mouse. So as you might have noticed, um, we have additional uh, an additional tab here and that's called Interactors. And Interactors are a really big thing for gaming and I think they are great ways to use um, interacting in uh, a gaming scenario. So the basic idea behind interactors are interactive zones that can be placed anywhere on and even off uh, the screen. Um, and whenever you look at these interactions, interactors, uh, an action will be triggered. Currently the only action that can be assigned um, are keyboard keys. Um, any keyboard key you want to bind to an interactor uh, can be triggered by just looking at the screen region you defined. So 
let's start by adding one interactor to our profile. So it will add this little window here. And as you can see, um, whenever I'm looking at it, um, it will uh, be marked in green. That means that I'm actively uh, looking at this interactor. So what would be a very practical example for using an interactor, for example, in a game, uh, in a first person shooter game where you have to reload your weapon? Um, this uh, requires a special key. Uh, in the most cases it will be R, your R key. And we want to assign this interactor to the R key and for example place it, you can place the interactor in the region where your gun is located or even if there is some status display of the ammunition, um, you can place the interactor at the very natural zone um, that is used in the game. So let's assume we have a game um, where the gun is located at the bottom right corner. So I will place my interactor here. And all we have to do is, now this region is um, defined as interaction zone. And now we can edit this interactor. Let's call it reload um, for this purpose. And assign the R key. I'm now pressing the R key. We can see here it is now assigned and we can also choose between um, pressing the keyboard key once as soon as this get activated or as soon as the inter interactor gets activated we can also hold the key um, while the interactor is activated and we can also define it as a toggle where you have to look um, at the interactor once to press down the key and if you look at it again after some time um, the keyboard key will be released so hit si let's hit save and I will show you for demonstration purposes I will show you the action in the notepad up here so whenever I'm looking at my interactor you can see um, the R key is triggered by this interactor and the neat thing is about this is that these interactors can be triggered really fast so your eyes are pretty fast and you can have lots of keys um, defined on your screen and that gives you great power in games. So what else is uh, important to mention? Um, these interactors do not need to be visible on the screen actually to be active. So we can hide all those interactors and your screen is not clamped up by any windows and even if the game is running in full screen mode your interactors will still be active. So I'm I can show you that the interactor is now hidden but when I look at the bottom right corner you can see that the R key is still hit um, by the interactor. So let me add um, a few other interactors um, for demonstration purposes and for example in an MMO game uh, especially in World of Warcraft you can modify the interface. Um, it would be incredibly neat um, to place your spell uh, down here in this order. And let me hide those. You can, as you can see, I can go through these buttons pretty easy and pretty fast. So let's um, activate those. And this is really a cool thing. Um, for any actions that don't require you to focus on the game scene. So for example, these actions would be reloading, um, could be picking up items, opening your map in the game. So these actions are perfectly to use um, with interactors. So that's it for Iris. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, it so far and it is available right now. You can test it uh, for free for 14 days as always. and. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop me an email and I will be very excited about the setups you can come up with and I'm very interested in the actions and, and, and games you can play using Iris. So keep me updated on that and I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to, to watch the second video where I'm especially talking about combining Iris with the Kinesic Mouse. So see you soon and bye.